Right now I am at Thai Holic and apparently they have like a really nice cocktail menu. Their signature cocktails is really reasonable. It's ten dollars and if you want it extra strong it's only thirteen. I actually got the lychee mojito and the tipsy. So let's see how this goes. This one is the lychee mojito. It's well presented and then also this one's the tipsy. They're all made with premium sake, apparently, so... As you can see, they light up my drink. It's very refreshing, and I, I could really taste the peachy syrup and the mojito basil. It's really, really good. Very, very The chicken curry from Thaiholic. Bowl of chicken. Let's see how this tastes a little bit. I'm just gonna grab a piece of chicken and see. Calamari, the small one. Yep. And calamari. Ooh, small looks pretty big actually. Mm, chicken's good. And now I'm gonna grab a piece of calamari. Piece of calamari, and I'm gonna see how this tastes. Um, this is really good. <laughs> Thick piece of calamari, light bread. This drink is so bomb that I got another one, and it pairs well with the curry and the calamari. Everything is really good here at Thai Holic. I definitely recommend you come here. The food is good, and the price is very reasonable. They don't have a happy hour, but the drinks are only like $10 each, so definitely check it out. Calamari is extra spice, um, extra crispy and thick, and it's a really good proportion. So I'm back at Thai Holic, and their food is so amazing that I'm coming back for the second time. Uh, now I'm going to try their entrees. Last time I came here for the drinks and basically the appetizers, and now I'm going to talk about their entrees. I'm excited and I'm gonna take it to go. Hi, so this is the three things I ordered and I'm going to uh, tell you one by one what I ordered and then uh, describe and do a taste test and then tell you what it tastes like, is it good, and would I recommend you coming here. So this is the crab um, basil fried rice loaded with crab, egg, and basil rice with a side of uh, lemon and cucumbers. This cost about $15. It's not that expensive. And right now, I am going to try it out and see what it tastes like. So I brought out my tester spoon. It's like this little spoon that I try a little bit of everything in small, small little proportions, so I get a little bit of something. Here's a little scoop of the rice and the crab meat, and maybe a little bit of the egg. So I get a little, a good scoop of this. So let's begin. Okay. So the crab meat is super tender. The rice, the, the basil rice is very flavorful. Wow. This is a really good um, basil fried rice, I might say. Um, this is one of their special dishes. Um, you could also get it without the crab meat. Obviously, without the crab meat, it would be a cheaper, cheaper alternative. But with the crab meat, it retails, I want to I wanna say it costs about 20 something. But it's really delicious. The crab meat is tender. The rice is cooked perfectly and well seasoned. I highly re recommend this. The the crab uh, basil fried rice. Out of one to ten, I will rate this a ten. Next, I'm going to talk about this beef um, pineapple curry. So it has bell peppers, pineapple, and onions with beef. This curry is looks really delicious. It's only $15 and I'm going to just try some of the sauce and see how the flavor it is and 
wow okay so it's a really creamy texture the spices is good it's not too overwhelming it's well balanced i'm going to also try one beef just to see like what it tastes like these are big big chunks of beef by the way so <laughs> i'm trying to find like a small one because i'm not i don't want to so okay the beef is really tender juicy wow um this is very flavorful but even though the beef is tender and juicy it's somewhat dry um so out of one to ten i would rate this about an eight i feel like um the meat quality can improve a little bit more maybe a better marinade or uh or maybe better quality when it comes to the meat but either case i want i want to say that the the sauce is really good and creamy and the the flavor is there just the quality of the beef can improve a little bit more so like i said one out of ten i'll get hi so this is the egg over pad thai this is an egg wrapped inside a bunch of uh, pad thai noodles and over here is the bean sprouts with a mix of nuts and the sauce. This egg inside has a lot of pad thai noodles which I am going to crack and show you at the moment you see. Let's see. This is, oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the noodles inside the egg. Um, obviously, um, you're supposed to mix the egg with the noodles, like crack it open and just mix it because pad thai noodles is supposed to have um, eggs mixed together. So this concept of a wrapped around pad thai is pretty cool. Um, let me try to taste a little bit of the noodles just to get the flavor. And let's dig in. Mm. the noodle is pretty good i don't know um if it's because it's a little cold i might have to warm it up and tell you guys but the flavor is good i haven't really tried the egg yet or anything let's take a little piece of the egg and see how that tastes the egg's good i mean you can't really mess up egg but out of all three of these things, oh, by the way, I s totally forgot. Out of one to ten, would I order this again? I want to say an eight as well because I this is one of the colder items, so I'm not sure if this is up to the full potential of what it's supposed to be. But so far, it's not terrible, but it's not great. Um, out of all three of these things, I think my top favorite is basically the basil crab crab meat um fried rice and my second favorite will be the curry with beef with pineapples and my third would be the pad thai and over with eggs so let me know what you guys think if you have any questions please leave a comment below um, if you like this video and if it's helpful please like and subscribe thank you have a lovely day bye